Right guys, so basically, I got this, um, I got this from um, uh, eBay, I bought this, so it's a M, sorry, M.2 NVMe PCI SSD enclosure, so I'll just show you this front here, uh, it's a type C, right, on the other end, ah, come on, other end is a USB 3.0 as you can see it's actually blue in this side and what's the purpose of this um, I wanted to clone my drive I wanted to clone my drive um, you know when I got the two terabytes and I wanted to um, I wanted to clone my drive basically sorry I think my other screen has gone off a bit Right, I wanted to clone my other drive, and uh, I wanted to clone uh, the one terabyte to the two terabyte. Uh, unfortunately, that never happened. Now, the only reason I can give that uh, why it didn't happen is because I eventually, I eventually put uh, the two terabyte into the the Steam. Uh, I put I put the two terabyte into my Steam Deck, the only the Steam operating system. I've kept the Windows one with one terabyte, which is the Sam branch. So I never actually got um, to actually updating. I mean, changing the one terabyte uh, to the two terabyte um, upgrade that I wanted to do. And it also took um, close to two weeks to actually get this. This came from China. So it comes with this uh, lanyard thing, it comes with screws as well. I hadn't noticed the screws, but it comes with screws and a Chinese screwdriver. So I'm only guessing that inside here is where the SSDs will go into. I mean the SSD. I also encountered a bit of a problem. Well, it's, it's, it's kind of like a situation that I had with this micro SD card. Uh, this is the... Um, the SanDisk Extreme Pro, uh, the, I think it's a 250, it's a 256, it's a 200, I don't know if this will zoom in, anyway, it's a, it's a 200, it's a 256 gigabytes um, Extreme SanDisk. So the, the problem I encountered was, remember when I said it was getting really hot, and I said I didn't experience that with the Alexa card? On my Windows Steam Deck, and I did not experience that with um, with my Nintendo OLED Switch OLED. Like uh, it's it's got the um, SanDisk um, micro SD card inside it, and I did not encounter that with um, with the other one with the Switch Lite in the background. There, um, what I mean is that uh, they're, they're both using SanDisks. Um, the OLED. All it uses a SanDisk micro SD card. Uh, also, I think the one uh, on the Switch, um, the one on the Switch Lite, uses the Ultra one and uh, SanDisk Ultra. And I think, I think the one on the OLED is also um, a SanDisk. And I think it's using, I don't know which one it's it's using, but I, I just know it's a SanDisk. Basically, I just want to show you guys that I actually got my M.2 um, adapter. So this has both a Type-C and a 3.0 uh, USB port. Or on this side, I think it's the Type-C, I just showed you. And this side has the USB 3.0. Advantages of that, obviously, um, you can stick this in a normal computer on this side. So I'll show you. Like... For example, if I wanted to copy something that I couldn't copy on my Steam Deck for whatever reason, I can just use that into a normal computer, stick this in, and obviously copy whatever files you want, isn't it? And this is an SSD, so it's going to be really quick. And like I said last time, it's a 3.0 or 3.1 or whatever they want to call it. Sorry, guys, if this thing is not zooming in, I, I just don't know why. You know, the, the, the problem is the holder that I'm actually using. I don't know why it's like this. Because I, I clean the lens, right? 
I just trimmed the lens. I just, I don't know. You see, the thing is, I don't know why it's like this. It's like it's really, it's like it faded or something. I don't know if, if maybe I, you know, you know, the thing is, anyway, uh, it'll probably improve on the next video. I'll, I'll have to find out what, what, what's happened because what I've just done is I've cleaned the lenses, so maybe that's why it looks a bit fuzzy. I, I hope it is coming out clear. Anyway, this side you can use on a normal PC. So if I want to copy something because it's SSD, it's going to be quick, right? And this does, um, you can put 2280s into this, the long SSDs. But the main purpose of this was to get this for the Steam Deck. So that's the normal 3.0 uh, USB port. And on this end, what I like, why, why I bought this is because it's got a type C and that's a type C port. So the advantage of this is both you can use this in Steam Deck and you can use this on a normal PC. You see what I mean? But obviously, uh, I mean, the hub that I've got uses both. Uh, I've got Type C's and I've got USB 3.0 so, um, and 2.0. So the, the only difference with 2.0 is that it's black, isn't it? Stuff. Right, guys. So I'm just trying to see what I'm doing right now. Um, right. So I'm, I'm just, I'm using my OLED at the moment just to play some, you know, some of my YouTube stuff that I record and it's just watching it. Basically, on the other Steam Deck, I want to I wanna load up uh, Modern Warfare 2. And obviously, on this Steam Deck that you're watching in front, I uh, downloaded some new games yesterday. Well, I bought this uh, Trash Sailors Prey. And I uh, don't know what this one is. I think it's Deep something. High Rise Guardian. Uh, the Call of Duty World War II. Uh, Doom. <laughs> So I've got Doom, um, World of Tanks, I, I think that's Blitz, World of Tanks, a normal, oh no, no, I didn't download World of Tanks, uh, okay, you know what, I, I will download that another time, and Destiny 2, I don't, I don't think Destiny 2 will work on the Steam operating system, I've got Super People 2, I didn't download Warzone, obviously Warzone only works on Windows, well, I don't know if it works on Steam, I haven't t tried it, I've got GTA, so I downloaded GTA, I've got GTA now. Um, I'm just checking, so Doom is installed. Right, so Call of Duty World War II does work on the Steam operating system. Uh, if I show you my, oh yeah, the, the main reason of why I was t uh, telling you guys about, about, um, sorry, I'm just trying to get to this uh, storage thing. Right, I removed the micro SD card. Uh, this is really bad, man. You know, I'm I'm just I'm just I, I I'm gonna remove this for just one second because I, I I I'm really curious about why it's doing it. Like, why? <laughs> you know you know what I mean. You see you see what I mean. It's just it looks better now. I mean before it was looking really bad. I was like, why why is this like? Why is it like that, you know? Anyway, I, I hope this improves the video now. Right, so, let me move up a bit. I feel like I'm sliding. Right, so basically, uh, this is a two terabytes. I've got 180 gigabyte left on this drive. Uh, I removed the micro SD card, like I said. That's the SanDisk Extreme Pro that I got, the 256 gigabyte one. Uh, main reason for removing that, this one, I removed this because it kept getting hot. So I don't know why it, it was getting hot, but this is the one, Extreme Pro. Uh, would I advise you guys to get it? It 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 works. It works in the Steam Deck. It works in this uh, Steam operating uh, operating Steam Deck. But because of um, the heat issues that I'm facing, and I think I did mention this before. I wouldn't recommend it, uh, you guys getting this for the Steam Deck, no. So, uh, it says DualSense X is available on Steam. I don't know why this always says that, you know. Um, I, don't, I don't get all this stuff. Right, so, sorry guys, I'm, I'm, I'm actually using, I've, I've got two Steam Decks, like I told you guys. One is on Windows, the other one is on Steam operating system. 
The one in front of you is the team operating system one, and naturally the the other one is on the other. Well, it's it's, it's close it's close to this one. It's just that it's on a different uh, uh, place that I put it. Uh, I just wanna. I want to open up, I'm opening up a few files, so basically, if you, if you can't see what I'm saying, it's because, it's because I'm actually using the, the other Steam Deck, so, what are the differences between the Steam Decks? Well, one Steam Deck is, uh, obviously, is the Steam operating system one, the one that you can all see, the other Steam Deck, the one that I'm actually using right now, or, you know, I'm setting it up for gaming, is the Windows one. So the Windows one is on Windows 11 Pro, uh, it works really well. The only thing I don't like, and I think this will go with a lot of people, is that I don't like the updates. I don't know why, <laughs> I don't know why that is a constant thing, but I, I really don't like the updates. I mean, I wish, I wish they would just fix, I wish they would fix the, the issue with updates. I mean, I, I don't know, I don't know for how long they have to have that issue with updates all the time. So if, if you don't understand what I mean, what I'm talking about basically, right, I'm just looking at this uh, trailer thing. I don't actually want to play the trailer. I think it's uh, I Am Future something. Okay, this is a game, right. It's, it's, it's on sale for, um, right. Let me, let me try and get you guys into the store on this one because I'm actually, like I said, I'm, I'm, using, I'm using the other one. So let me try and get on the store here and find the game that I'm looking at. And then obviously you guys will see the same game that I'm talking about. I just don't know if it's going to show it. Because this one is uh, showing the Steam Deck games, isn't it? So let me go to the main store. So I can find the main store. And then hopefully... Yeah, so I'm going to go to the store home. This one. This is the main one. And see... Right, so it says pre <laughs> preload now. What? Can I can I actually get this game now? You see that? Check this out. Oh, can I actually get it? All right, let's see. Did I download this entire game? Oh, it's slow. Okay. Yeah. Right. So I I didn't I didn't realize I didn't realize that you can actually uh, preload this game. So it's downloading, so that's Overwatch 2, it's just saying unknown, so I think that's like um, in uh, okay, um, compatibility or something, right? Um, sorry guys, I'm trying to find the game that I'm talking about, let's see, where's that game? Right, so it's, it's somewhere here on Void Frame, I'll try and look for it, it's uh, called I Am Future, no it's not showing it. I'll I'll probably have to type it out then. I mean, it's it's on the other one. Oh, okay. You you know what? Um, it actually came out as um, you know those um, it came out. Yeah, yeah. They they I found it. They found the found the game, right? So this is the one I'm talking about. This is the game that I'm talking about. I am future. I think it's like it's like a base. Um, like I don't know. It's like um, I'll play you guys the trailer, right? Play you guys a trailer. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's got two trailers. I'll play the, play the trailer. What? What's happening? Uh, I'm, I'm having this issue with the Steam Deck as well. It keeps doing this, um, this blacking out thing. Uh, that's the main reason why I removed the micro SD card. But I mean, it keeps happening. So you see, it just does this weird thing. Like, it just goes black. Uh, this this is not happening on the Windows one yeah, so the Windows Steam Deck is fine. The Windows Steam Deck is working, no issues, nothing. It's just happening on this um, this uh, Steam or operating system one. So you see, it's on. The light is on right there. It's on. It's powered, and you can actually see that the screen is on because it's it's light. You see, there's light on the screen. So I don't know if it's crashing. <laughs> Oh, what's going on? Like, you see, and then when hopefully if I powered like I powered it now, it's supposed to show the screen. So I don't know why it does this. 
you see it's making noises it's not showing anything you see it makes the noises so what I've found to do is I force restart this and I press this for 10 seconds yeah and then hopefully turn it back on and you'll see it will say verifying installation you see it, it restarts and then it will say verifying installation um, it, it, it's doing this um, it started doing this uh, in the last uh, few days it's been doing this so you see it says verifying installation and I'm like <laughs> what do you need to verify what what needs to be verified because I, I don't understand this this is not happening on the Windows so Windows Steam Deck is fine but you see it's happening on this one so at least it's still going to the download so I had to force restart this like I said I don't know what's uh, what's creating that problem um, let's go to the main store you see then I have to restart the whole Steam Deck just to to get uh, let me try and see so you see look at that I press the volume and that just happened I just I just don't understand what's going on so it's like it's like doing this weird thing you see the screen just goes like that and it makes noises and it appears like it's working but I, I don't know I don't understand it's like you know one thing I'm thinking of let me let me sw swap this with my other Steam Deck. So the other Steam Deck is I'm setting it up for uh, gaming, like I said. But then uh, the other problem, okay, the other issue is I don't know where I don't know where Call of Duty is actually saved on the other Steam Deck. So if I do remove it on the hub, I don't want to disturb what I'm doing. I mean, I didn't, I haven't started the game yet. But there's programs here that I've, I've started up, like for example, Juice, DualSense X is running, I've got uh, the power plant running, I've got VS4 Windows running, I've got something for my resolution, and naturally I'm going to go into, um, I'm going to go into this, um, this other one, uh, what you call this thing, um, I'm going to, I'm going to go into the, I'm going to open up, I'm going to go into desktop, and then I'm going to go into this, uh, I'm going to click on power control panel, which is an exe file that I have to open and get this to work. I mean, listen, the, the Steam Deck with Windows on it is working. There's no, there's no issue there. You see, it's playing, but <laughs> the screen is blank. <laughs> so that's why I'm wondering, like, what's happening with the Steam Deck? This started happening in recently, you know. So I, I don't know if it's if there's a problem, but you, you know what I'm gonna do. I'll tell you something. I'm going to I'm going to put Steam operating system on this. I'm gonna put Steam back onto this micro SD card and put it into this um, Steam Deck to see if that helps. I don't know. I, I don't want to flash it again with, with Steam. I just. I think there's something wrong with the operating system. So I feel like if if I oh come on. I I feel like Right, so basically I feel like if sorry guys, I'm just using the other Steam Deck. So basically I feel like if Right, I I feel like if I put Steam back onto this micro SD card and then put it into the Steam Deck, it might just function um, better. I don't know. Because look what it's doing. It's a blank screen. So like I said, I've not I've not seen this on the Windows. Yes, Windows has problems with updates and all of that, but it's never ever done this this black screen thing. So that's that's why I'm kind of worried about right now. Like why is this happening? Why is it you know? Oh, you, you know what I noticed? I noticed something. It's not actually playing on the Steam, on this Steam Deck. It's playing on the other one. So the, the noise you were hearing isn't coming from this one. I don't know what's going on with the Steam Deck. You see, I have to then force restart it again. And then it's like if you jump into a game, I noticed the games work. 
if you download games, it's doing everything. But uh, it's just, I don't know, I don't know what's going on with this thing. You, understand, you, you get what I'm saying? It's like, it's like it's not working properly. Guys, so basically I wanted to show you what, what I'm doing on that Steam Deck. But like I said, it's, um, you see, look, I need to say verify and installation again. Okay, it didn't do it this time. But I'm just saying, it's, it's frustrating, you know? So what I found is, if, if I'm playing a game, if I'm playing a game, it's going to work. The game's going to run. It's going to play the game. Everything's going to work. You see? But it's, it's like a hit and miss. I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I, you, see, you see all that? Right. So I've got Prey. Let me actually play a game for you guys. Um, so this one is downloading, actually. But I don't know if I jump into it. Right. So this is 33... 86 gigabytes right let me jump into a game I'll jump into prey guys so I I paid for this yesterday let's see how this works out yeah so this is prey Right, so what I'm doing in the background, I'll be connecting this to the other Steam Deck in the background. Uh, once I get, once I get um, it up and running, um, the game, then I'll, you know, obviously, obviously I'll, you see, you see what I mean? Look at that. That, I don't understand the same thing. So, okay, it's starting the game. I thought it wasn't working. <laughs> I was about to panic. Oh my god. Right, so if, if you guys don't see me or hear me talking, it's because I'm I'm actually setting up the like I said, I'm setting up the other Steam Deck uh, for Modern Warfare 2. I, I need to connect the DualSense sense controller to this one because I will be playing the game. I think I have to do handheld on this one, you know, because I don't have a, I don't have a type C cable to connect. I mean, the type C cable, the other one I've got is connected to the OLED, uh, to the TV. So if I, if I disconnect that, it's going to lose the connection. Right. So let me see what I'm doing. So I don't, I'm going to play, uh, pray on this one. Yeah. The other ones are ready to go. Let's see. Okay, I think I must have put screen. Okay. Uh, let me I'm coming to this game, guys. I, I just want to see what, what, what I'm doing with this other one. Right, so I will show you guys eventually what I'm doing on the other one. The other one at the moment, I've set it up for gaming for uh, uh, Modern Warfare, but obviously I haven't started the game, because if I start the game, then obviously I can't use the Steam Deck. I can't use it now, because it will be set for gaming. You understand what I mean? So, I've set it up for gaming. I've got Xbox 360 gamepad going. I'm using DualSense X on that one. Uh, like I said, I'm using something for the resolution. I'm also overclocking the Steam Deck by 35 watts. And I've got the, the gamepad connected to the other one. So that's the gamepad. And as you can see, it's got the white uh, colors here. That means it's connected to the other Steam Deck. So I've, I've got that ready for gaming for Modern Warfare 2. Uh, but like I said, if, if, I, if I start the game now, on Modern Warfare, then 
I, I can't do what I want to do on that one. And I actually, like I said, I want to, I want to put theme on this one. I don't know why this doesn't zoom. Anyway, I'm gonna put theme operating system on this, on the theme deck. Um, sorry, let me jump out of this. It's, it's just that it's playing, it's playing the, the, the trailer for the game. So, you know, it's, it's not disturbing me, but it's, it's just like when I talk, it's, it's playing over my voice. Right, so like I said, on the other theme deck, I've got DualSense X running, uh, that's DSX, uh, the one in uh, Steam. The one they're selling for four dollars. I've got DS for Windows, which is an emulator for game type for um as as I'm using DualSense, I'm using a PS5 game type, so that's DS for Windows, that's uh, PlayStation 4 emulator that I'm using. I'm also using DualSense X, but that's um PlayStation 5 uh, emulator. If you don't know what em what I'm talking about, I'm talking about mapping the mapping the DualSense controller that I use for gaming. I'm also using AMD power control panel and I'm using 35 watts to overclock Steam Deck. I'm using something for the resolution and the power plan is not... Oh, <laughs> you know what? I just realized the power... I haven't changed the power plan. I mean, I, I have changed it. I did change it, but it's, it's not the... Um, it's not the one that I'm, I, I'm, I actually want to use. Right, so I need to remove this overclocking utility. Right, so it's actually running on minimum. I need this to run on maximum. Right, so I'm just changing the power plant to maximum. So everything's been set to 100%. Um, core passing is 100%, frequency scaling 100%, servo boost 100%, performance is 100%. Oh yeah, let me just uh, start this game, guys. A uh, new game, obviously a new game. Uh, use the slot right there. <laughs> Normal, yes. Ah, oh, wait, wait. Can I put it on easy? <laughs> yes, I, I said yes. Well, what's up with this thing? How do I get to the next one? To continue, what's, what's this survival mode options? Why do I need survival mode options? I'll, I'll, I'll check that out later if, if I have a problem. Oh, right. Can I choose? Uh, how do I choose this? I don't, I want the female. Ooh. Wonderful. Right, so while this is working, right, guys, I need to do something. I'll come back. Like I said, I want to do Modern Warfare gaming. But, like, I wanted to show you that my team that keeps blanking, blacking out, so I don't know what's going on. Um, but apart from that, uh, downloaded some games. Just press A, okay? Right, I'm coming back, guys. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Oh, we want this to move around. Okay, cool. I didn't realize. I'd like to do something. Okay. 
Komm. So, wants me to move around. I have to hold the Steam Deck. Uh, I don't have any controls connected to this. So, let's see. I hope the video is coming out properly. Wait. I think I just need to zoom out a bit. Um, okay. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit because, like I said, I can't see the screen. Like, I'm, I'm looking through the lens. I'm using uh, my 11 Pro Max. I, I, I had to delete a lot of stuff. I should be. I, realistically, I should be using this one, yeah? I should be using this big guy. Because this one is actually one terabyte. So I should be using this one. But, um, you know, I mean, I, I'm, I'm still getting used to this uh, iPhone. Uh, this is a 14 Pro Max, uh, obviously. And how can you tell that island thing? You see the island thing? That's a 14 Pro Max. Right, so let's get this started. Uh, trying to get this. Okay, wow. Graphics on this are dope, man. I can grab shoes. Okay, okay, I need the suit. It says um, RB, you suit. Uh, how do I press RB? Oh, wait. What is RB? What? Okay, so... Okay, I don't know what this is. So what's RB? Okay, so I'm pressing, you know, I'm pressing the triggers, right? Okay, so first day at the job. Oh, okay, it's a back button. You know, I press the back button, yeah? <laughs> I didn't realize it's a back button on uh, this side. The back button, I didn't realize. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go out eventually. I'm gonna actually, I have to check out the graphic settings because I'm just playing this. It says search, press A. How do I search? What's the error? What's this? It's not showing me anything. So how do I search? Oh, hey, <laughs> you know what? Uh, I can't read the, the thing, but I'm, I'm just gonna take it that maybe it's, uh, it's done something. Oh, it's a back door. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. I know. I know. I should be. You know, I'm a fan. I'm. I'm actually a fan. I'm a huge fan of uh, Prey games. The last time I I played uh, this game, Prey, was on the. Um, what? I'm holding the box. How do I put it back down? What? Climb? No. Oh. Okay. I've got a flashlight. How do I put that thing down? Oh, it's down. All right. Cool. Right, I thought it was something that I needed. Okay. Basically, it's too small for me to read. But I'm seeing stuff here. And I'm just taking it because I'm, I feel like it might be useful later. Oh, okay. No, I don't need that. Uh, it says enter password. Oh, my God. <laughs> look, at, look at that. Look at my instinct. Look at that. That's Siri. <laughs> I'm not saying anything to Siri. What's up with this phone? That's my old phone, my SE. Right, so it says enter password. What? How am I supposed to read the password from that? Ah, it's too... Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, I mean, the text, the text is too small to read. Sorry about it. It's too small to read. Wait, you know what? It's just my back one there. Let me change it a bit and I'll put this dude in the back. Oh my god, stuff is just falling, you know. I don't know, why is this like that? Ah, oh god, come on. Well, hopefully. Okay, so the, so the thing is, the thing is, the text is too small for me to read. The text is too small for me to read. Uh, I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to read the text. So what I will do, so I guess I'm just wondering why this is all looking weird. Like, I don't know. 
don't know why my iPad was. <laughs> it looked like it was about to fall, you know. I was like, why? Why is it like that? I don't understand. Okay, so basically, basically the writing on this is quite small. I hope you guys can see that. It's very small. So I need a password. So I'm holding this screen really close because I want to find the password now. I want to see maybe it's something important for the game. You see, it's so small. How are you supposed to read this? You see that? The only time I can actually read this is when I'm holding this so close to the iPhone's uh, camera that it's just saying chapter three. There's nothing in this that's important. So I'm gonna go back here because there's another note here. And it says, I don't know what this is saying. It says, um, remove something neutral from press, keep eye open, deepest uh, uh, dispose. I don't know. Maybe there's a way for me to read this in the game. Uh, I'll have to check. Um, obviously, like like what I normally do is um, is there anything else? No, nothing. Right. What I normally do is I would go to YouTube, find someone who's actually playing this game on the Steam Deck, and find out how they are zooming in on the game. You understand? That's what I normally do. So, you know. I'm just saying that that's what I normally do because obviously I've not, um, like I said, I, I do like this. Am I, how do I drink the thing? No, I don't want the flashlight. Okay, so this is a note. I don't know, there's, there's nothing much on it. Okay, fine. I'm trying to find the password. I don't know what this is saying. It's, this is so tiny. It says 10 minutes. What is it in under 10 minutes? I don't know what that is. Is that like a magazine? You see, everything that I'm, I'm searching on or looking at is glowing. You understand? So that's the only stuff that I'm actually looking at that it says. It says Heart of the Walk. Okay, that's like a cooking book. Right, so it's not it's not what I was looking for. I was looking for the password. I don't know if, if eventually... Oh, you can turn lights on and off. What's this thing? Cabinet search. There's nothing in there. Okay. Can you cook? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's something in there. I'm wondering if this, if any of this stuff is gonna be like useful, like later on in the game. Ah, oh, check that out. I'm, I'm actually getting stuff right now. It's, it's, it's just like wherever I point here, it'll say search. So, automatically, if it says search, I'm gonna try and search and see if there's anything useful. Uh, as you know, I don't wanna leave this apartment and like not have collected, uh, you know, like. Even if they're miniature, like things that are not too important, but could be important. Okay, so this is something about food, right? So it's not what I was looking for either. Um, so basically what I'm saying is maybe these are just like tips in the game to make things easier. What's this thing? The method. You see, like I said, this is very tiny. I'm, I'm just wondering like why, why the game looks so per perfect. So, you know. The game looks fantastic. Why Why would they make this kind of, like, kind of small? Right, so I'm going, I'm, I'm going to make this a bit quicker now, guys. I, I'm just going to be seeing, like, is there anything else that I need to take? You know, I'm searching everywhere. I don't want to leave this apartment no, without knowing. Oh, cool, look at that. Man, I'm just saying, look at the graphics on this on the system so I haven't yet uh, checked out the settings for graphics as yet for the game but I will be look at that what kind of system is that <laughs> what kind of controller is that looks like a PlayStation controller look, look at that thing wow that's really old this is Monday 2032 March 15 82 degrees Celsius wow it must be hot outside okay now count of I don't know what the, what's that say account or something let's see is there anything interesting you know the one thing I'm gonna look for in settings is a way to make this like how do you zoom in I think there's a way to zoom in isn't it it should be a, a way to zoom in because I am pretty sure if I could zoom into this stuff maybe I would find the password or you know what? I'm just wondering is it important but what, what if there is like a, 
a bonus. Can I, can I open this? It's jammed. Ah, pity. Look at outside. What, what country is this one, basically? Oh, yeah. Like I said, the last time I played Prey was on a Xbox 360. Uh, so that's why I was saying I'm a huge fan of Prey, uh, the games. Uh, the last time I played this. What's this one? It says... Oh, I need to press up here. Okay. Look at how small this writing is. Many, many trans, uh, trans star employees have private workstations. Locked stations require passwords, search the environment for clues, or use the hacking ability to bypass the login. The hacking? Workstations may contain email, uh, files to download, or special utilities. Okay. So how do I hack this thing? So it says, okay, so how do I hack it? wow i didn't need a password <laughs> cool so it's saying something hello morgan so glad to hear you'll be coming aboard soon uh your first official work day is monday march uh, 15th but first we have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees just some stuff to clear you for life in orbit exciting times ahead have a good flight and I'll see you soon. Human resources. Right. Okay, cool. How about that one? What's that one all about? Uh, if you're wondering how I'm clicking this, guys, I'm clicking it with the back buttons, yeah? Hey, I sent a package with everything you'll need for your first day. Uniform trained at uh, Scribe and a, a neuro mode. Install the neuro mode right away as we'll be running some tests first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions. I'll be in touch, Alex. Okay. So it's ready. Hey, uh, I just got off the phone with mom and dad. They won't be there when the shuttle de departs. They'll, they're, they're in New York. Company stuff. But they send their best. I think mom's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside her gravitational pull at the same time. She said you're... You'd better behave or do everything your big brother says. Okay. Right. So, sorry guys. It's just the other thing that's going off. I have to kind of play with, um, move the mouse a bit just to get it not to shut down. I don't need to shut down. Right. Uh, okay. So, what are those things? So, basically, I can, I can pick stuff up, drop stuff up. Okay. So, I think now I can leave the apartment. I think I've, I've checked everything. But the one thing I do want to find out is how do I zoom in and read stuff. I, I've looked at everything. Let's see. Did I search in here? Well, okay. Let's let's go. I've done everything. Let me close the door. Is there anything around here? Wow, what's that thing? It's an aquarium. Wow. Sorry, guys, if, if I keep pulling the screen forward. It's just that like I keep forgetting that I'm recording. <laughs> so, you know, it's a habit. I mean, I'm I'm liking, oh, that's locked. I'm liking the oh, graphics. What? Who talked? Who talked? What's happened? Water pressure issues have been identified, and are being. Things can be tricky, you know. What? Who's talking? Oh, okay, that lady. Okay, okay. Water pressure issues have been identified and are being resolved. We apologize for any inconvenience uh, this may have caused. Notice from building management, 63rd Avenue, One West Tower. Okay, so it's a lady over here who's fixing. Uh, let's see. I can open that one. Okay, cool. Heard there's a job around the way. Must be for you. Oh, nice. Man. What's this? Chopper. Let's go and get it. I know I keep checking doors. <laughs> The graphics are so good, man. Seriously, you know this game is on sale, yeah. This uh, prey game. Um, it's it wasn't expensive. I think it's like six uh, six dollars or something. Um, not expensive. Oh, nice, nice one. Right, so gonna make another video, guys, because this one's getting a bit long. But look. 
Look at this, it's so impressive. I'm impressed, this game is dope, looks good. I'm gonna put this here. Look at the graphics on this game. It's, it's like $6, it's on sale. Just make yourself comfortable.